welcome back to another video um today we're going to be talking about a youtuber you might know him um dj cook if you haven't already seen the title i'm going to be explaining why he's actually a good youtuber so let's get right into it nice change in the banner first of all and these videos here they're all about exposing and just trying to clean up youtube and um, dj cook he doesn't go up to the YouTube and say delete your channel, do it now. He just basically exposed them for making bad content and tries to like persuade them to make better content. Personally, I don't think he should get that much hate. Personally, he doesn't really deserve that hate because... Well, he doesn't tell YouTubers to just get off YouTube and stop completely. <gasps> what? And really, the only people that hate him are the people that have been exposed on like 10 minute long videos, so, yeah. If you still don't believe me that he's actually a good YouTuber, let's watch one of his vids. So here's his channel, he has 1.19 million subscribers, and here are his vids. Um, so... If you take a look at his channel, it's all based on one thing, YouTube and exposing bad YouTubers. That's what the banner is. It's a very accurate clean up YouTube. Funny and important parts. Sounds cool and fun, right? Yeah, not funny. So in this Thomas video, they started out by saying things that nobody could understand. I'm the trash in first in the line besides I'm in one man game. Yeah, but one, you, two, three years later. Shut up, Just keep doing you're telling me they're using that phone to FaceTime? Oh gosh. These guys don't even edit their videos. Watch them. Okay. So, as you can see, he's already exposing the bad YouTubers. And this is already fake, but it gets worse. Let's keep watching. I might pause. I might pause with it a bit. Really eating a sandwich that he just made. Where is the dark web part? Where is the 3am part? Where's the part where he buys it off the dark web? He literally just made it. And now they're True. saying that the cook who they bought the sandwiches from is at their house now. Which oh my bit. gosh. Oh, We're sorry that we ate your burger. Yo, son, I'm eating. You son, I'm eating it. No, the title of this video was buying sandwiches from the dark web at 3 a.m. gone wrong. The cook came to my house. I mean, we all just watched the video and I'm pretty sure nothing went wrong. And the cook last day. Just look at this. What? Did you, did these bad you videos for see four that title? Months, but today is his last day, hopefully. Look at this. The first video we're going to... Look. What? What? Like, uh, I'm a, we're yeah, like, guys. Okay. After they so, do the Ouija board, he says this. After this. Oh my god, guys, fix, I think, this, yeah, this, I think he's at the my fake house. Bit. Oh, oh my god, bro, yeah. he's here! Yo! Bro, look at this. This is just weird. Look, everyone was talking about George Floyd. everyone was talking about George Floyd at the time, but recreating it like this? No. That's just. That's messed up. Hashtag black. Oh. I can't breathe. Ah! His friend is literally acting like George Floyd. And I... this isn't even his worst video. If you thought that what? that video was bad, I took a look at the rest of his channel and it gets a lot worse. This is going to be bad. So now you can see why DJ Cook is actually quite a good YouTuber. So let's see what he does after. Do an interview? Yeah, I know, right? That's crazy. I jumped out of bed right when he said that. I grabbed a pen, a paper, and I wrote out some questions that would hopefully break him down. This was my chance to clean up YouTube, but would it work? Nah, like 3 a.m. characters, I don't know. So you're still gonna be making cringy videos. Videos that are not real, obviously, but you aren't gonna be making videos on George Floyd and Kobe and stuff like that, right? Then, uh, we had all the videos saved, so we just came back and uploaded all that stuff, and we're still there now. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Come back again and again. Your videos are really boring to make, I've- So this YouTube channel right here, whenever they get cancelled, 
they just come back again and again and again so yeah that's what's happening right now we just buy for them we just want to make our own 3m videos of stuff that nobody cares about and there's nothing to do in the coronavirus pandemic so we just stay at home do whatever we want so during a pandemic you're stuck at home and the thing you choose to do is make a 3am challenge video on george floyd that's what you thought to do yeah it was very sad to um uh, see him die like that like i understand that they obviously did okay if you're sad why would you make a video like that reenacting it you would still feel sad honestly and that they obviously did as a joke we didn't mean anything there's some things you can't make a joke about even if it is a joke it's always going to be too far. Okay, I agree with that. That joke, or whatever that act was, that, that's too far, that's past the line. Well, now you've reacted, what do you think? Let me know. Personally, I think he's a good YouTuber, because, well, he helped clean YouTube. Well, all DJ Cook really did was find something that not many people were doing. Not going to lie, no one was taking it seriously people that did stuff like this only had like a thousand subscribers or a few thousand and stuff but dj cook took taking it seriously um so he found something no one else was doing and that's actually kind of a good thing if you haven't already go subscribe to dj cook he helps clean up youtube like you've seen go subscribe to him i'll see you all in the next video bye